Hello, Shecky. My name's Ollie. Ollie Ollerton, former SAS who dares wins, former UK Special Forces. How are you doing? Not bad. I'm feeling a little bit intimidated. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, but yeah, here we are. So I want to talk to you about six times BSB champion. I want to talk about the mindset it takes to, to stay at that level and that consistency. You know, when you, when you first start winning, mm. so I won my first championship back in like 2003, right? Really long time ago. You're young, you're upcoming, and you know, you almost feel like you can walk on water. You're ready to conquer the world. And, and every time I win, it feels better and better. I think that the challenge of doing everything you possibly can to, to keep them championships coming was like, it's just, it's just such a, a, a motivational thing, you know, it just mm. drives you forward. It's like any little extra you could do mm. In, in your preparation to, to, to win again and keep everybody behind you. I just used to get such a buzz out of it. You know what the, the strangest thing about mm. the showdown is for me, it's the worst situation in the world to be in because you're under so much pressure. Um, you know, you've got, in essence, nine races to, to mm. become champion and, and preparation is everything. So I always say that if you prepare well on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, mm. physically, yeah. you set yourself up for Friday morning, right? You get into Friday morning, and you ride your bike, and the work you do on Friday and Saturday morning prepares you for Saturday afternoon and Sunday's races. Mm. There, there has to be a structure, there has to be a process, and there has to be a situation where Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning, whatever, whatever you have underneath you, whether it's working or not working or whatever, that's what you're racing. You can't go into into war and, and worry about whether or not you've polished your rifle, you know, mm. the, the gun you've got in your hand is the gun that you're going to use. Yeah. And, and it's the same for us, you know, you can't, there comes a point where it's like, right, go, this is it, we're all yeah. in. Yeah. For yourself, mm. obviously going into battle, preparation must be even more important. How do you, how do you set yourself up for that? Yeah, it's a good question because at the end of the day, it's being battle ready, isn't it? You're battle ready for what you've got to achieve, it's the same for us. But the thing is for us, you know, <clears throat> when we're giving our orders, there's one thing that's repeated twice, and that is the mission. You know, your mission is to do X, Y, Z. That can be go in, release the hostages, get to the extraction point. And it's repeated twice, because that is the only thing that they want to imprint on your mind. You know, that is the end goal that we focus on. It's never a straight line though, is it? Like once the bullets and the bombs start kicking off, no plan survives first contact. And it's the same for you, you know, you have an accident, you have, I mean, you must have crashed a fair few times to get six championships under your belt, you must have, come off and how frustrating is that though? You know I mean, you can't plan for that, can you? Well, that's the funny thing, you know, you talk about planning, right? And you mm. talk about preparation, but the problem with planning and preparation in the British Superbike Championship is there's 40 other guys that have a plan too. Mike Tyson said it really well. Everyone has a plan till they get punched in the face. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's such a cool saying. <laughs> it's brilliant. It doesn't come out with a lot, but when he does, it's, it's quite, uh, quite inspirational. But um, well, how do you deal with failure? How do you deal with, you know, like you said, about, about the accidents when someone knocks you off? Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's the I knew answer. the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that... I don't um, think anyone does, especially not at top yeah, level. The bottom line is, right, it's a bit like that Mike Tyson saying, mm. worrying about stuff you can't control yeah. is a waste of your life take whatever situation is thrown at you, take mm. that problem and deal with it in the most effective of ways. We, we spoke earlier on about um, you know, me, me winning a race or winning a championship, right? You cross the line and for a split second, you're absolutely elated, you, know, you want to come mm. back and you want to see the boys and what have you. How does that work for you? Well, I tell you what, one thing, mate, you can't get too elated on the ground. You know what I mean? Until we're back in the helo, back to base, that's when you can, congratulations and everything else. But it's those moments that pull you together. You know what I mean? That, that bonding is like, Unbelievable, that's why people, especially from the military, are so, so bonded. For you guys, it must be amazing because I, I think I'd be useless mm. with, with you because I can't stand being told what to do. I know the answer to this, I reckon. Do you miss it? Oh, lucky wouldn't believe. Mm. I'm quite happy behind the camera when it's raining and miserable and, and looking great, <laughs> but whenever there's a sunny day and, and, yeah. the, and the boys are out on track. And, Touch of jealousy. Yeah, yeah massive. Yeah. I enjoy the job I do now but not as much as I enjoy racing a motorbike. And I'm sure that you love the job you do now, but maybe not as much as the buzz of being dumped in somewhere with an objective, with a mission that you get told twice, yeah, I listened, and then you get it done and away you go. Yeah, well, you know what? I often think about my Special Forces career and I think my mindset now, I think I'd make a much better soldier if I went back in now. I don't know why, but do you? yeah. I just think a lot more, I th you know, now I've matured a lot, and a lot of, you know, when I was in the Special Forces, 
there still was a lot of insecurity, lack, lack of confidence, self-doubt, all that, believe it or not. And I just think who I am now, I'd make a much better Special Forces soldier. A wise, but, he a wise head on young shoulders. Yeah. There's always this thing of the, the young up-and-comers versus the guys that got experience and, yeah. Finding that balance. Can't put a young, I can't put a, you can't put an old head on young shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, definitely. Let's Thank see you what so we can put these boys through, eh? Exactly.